Hey, God bless you, my friend and sister Sharon. And today we are answering the question, why did Jesus in the chapter uh, of Luke 13 and 3 tell the people in Galilee to repent or perish? He told them that because that's what he meant. And he still means it today that if we do not repent and stop playing games with God, you're going to perish. I want to remind each and every one of you that is a regular viewer on my channel, Motivating You to Win, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the real Jesus, sent me to this platform against my will. I'm a servant of Christ, and I want to just cal calibrate us. I want us to, to understand the times that we're in, friend. It's no time to be moved or swayed except in the straight and the narrow path. If you are not equipped with the real gospel of Jesus Christ, you are not going to make it into heaven. There is only two destinations, friend, heaven or hell, and you will not make it with your Bible studies, your Bible reading, your church attendance, your worship of the tithe, your worship of your bishop, your pastor, your prophets, your apostles. You will not make it into the kingdom of God. You will not spend eternity in heaven if you do not stop sinning. You can believe the lies of many of these fake YouTubers that's telling people that they do not have to repent, that you are a sinner. You will always be a sinner. They are liars, my friend. The Bible tells us clearly what is sin. We find the 17 works of the flesh in Galatians chapter 5, and it is clear, beloved, in also Revelations chapter 21, who will not make it to heaven. If you are a liar, if you are a thief, if you are a whoremonger, if you are an adulterer, if you are a covetous person, you are greedy, if you are full of the pride of your life, always boasting about who you are and what you do, including the fake prophets and prophetess that is taken over social media with all of their, I'm a prophet, I'm a this and that and that, you will not make it in. We must understand perilous times are upon us. And if you are not examining yourself, beloved, the way the scriptures tell us through the writings of Paul to examine yourself, to make sure that you are in the faith, you will lose your bodysuit and all of your religious rituals, including, I have said this as a warning on the channel, and I will make this statement and sound this alarm again. Bible reading is not going to save you from God's wrath. You must know the real Jesus. When he comes upon your life, he means what he has said. If you and I do not repent and stop playing all these games with your church groups and with yourself, you're not going to make it. You're going to go through all of this hell on earth, test trials and tribulations, and then end up in hell. And many say, God, he's love. He's love. No, God loves Jesus. He gave us his only begotten son that whosoever believe on him shall not perish. If you think you're going to play with Jesus name and trample over his blood, my friend, you have been deceived by blind guides. Many of you on this channel on a regular you are playing with God. If you don't stop playing your games, every word you have heard that is the truth will testify against you throughout eternity. Jesus said to repent or perish because that's what's going to happen to us. If we do not turn from our sin. The spirit of adoption is written and given to us through the writings of Paul in Galatians chapter 4 and 6. He said it is by the spirit of Christ that we cry, 
Abba, Father. Abba in the Greek means Father. Unless the spirit of adoption has come upon you, you are not a child of God. You are a sinner and you need to be saved through Jesus. And once you are, or once you have come to repentance and you begin to love Christ, you don't love him with your mouth. You love him with your life, your actions. He said, me and my father will come in and make a, an abode, a habitation. We will live in your heart. Beloved, it is not possible to have Jesus and God the Father living in you, and you are constantly contemplating blowing your brains out and killing yourself. You do not know the real Jesus if you are suicidal. You do not have the spirit of adoption. You have been deceived by religion. You have been like smoking crack. You, you have been deceived. You, you are inhaling. You are digesting nothing but r dead rituals and religion. This message of Jesus is simple. The reason I am on YouTube is to equip you with the truth. If you do not repent, you are going to perish. Every video on this channel is to equip you with wisdom and understanding of the true and the living Christ. And where he is, there is liberty. There is no longer death. And if you are contemplating killing yourself and killing somebody else, my friend, you are deceived. You do not have the spirit of adoption. You are not a child of God. You are not a saint. You are still a sinner bound and shackled in chains. So today, my exhortation as I close, repent or you will continue to perish in your soul. What is going on with many of us right now is an indicator you do not have the spirit of adoption. Get quiet with God, friend, and repent of your sin. And stop playing these games with yourself, with your fake bishops and apostles and prophetess, harlots, temple whores, deceiving you to be just like them. Nothing but sexual, provocative, moving fornicators. Every time your temple move, all we see is them breasts, hips, and thighs. You are going to hell, sis. Don't let nobody deceive you. Oh, it don't matter what we wear. Yes, it does. Who God don't care about eyelashes, and yes, he does. You know why? Because it affects you. He don't care about eyelashes. He cares about you. He don't care nothing about your Raimi fake weave, your fake, your, your, your real Raimi hair that they, they worship false gods and then sell it and you sew it on your hair all the way down to your buttocks. You say it don't matter. It, it doesn't. What matters is you and you are deceived walking around calling yourself a prophetess and you are nothing but a seductress. That's why you can't, you can't turn the camera on without all that makeup that we can scrape off of you because you are a diva. You're, you're a diviner. Oh yes, yeah, some of you, you, you ain't got the message yet. You ain't nothing but a temple whore. That's, that's right. You're not going to make it because your teachers and your so-called prophetess ain't nothing but temple whores. And that's what they duplicate themselves. Temple whores. God have mercy. Wake up, people. This is not a game, and this ain't no joke. And if you don't want to go to heaven, and you want to stay in your sin, get off of my channel, because I'm here to help equip somebody to meet Jesus, the real Jesus. 
So if you don't like rebuke, you don't like correction, and you don't want to hear the truth, get off of motivating you to win. Because that's what we're here for, to get somebody in the straight and the narrow path that leads to eternal life. God have mercy on every last one of us today. He or she that has an ear, my God, wake them up. Because some of you, you're running out of time because you've been playing with God. You sit up on this channel watching these exhortations and you still sleeping around. You still fornicating. You still cheating on your wife. You still playing all of these church games. Shame on you. Every word you have heard come out of Sister Sharon's mouth will testify against you when you lose that bodysuit. Shame on you. Some of you are sitting up with money, hoarding money in bank accounts, and you hear all this devastation going on in our nation, and you have not budged to help anybody. Shame on you. God bless every last one of you to have an ear to hear, to wake yourself up. This is not a game. God bless you, my friend. Till next time.